Today we're off to visit the Vatican in Rome. You get the shuttle from the ship to the bus stop and then you get the bus for two euros. You get on at bus stop three, which is Marina, and you get off at bus stop four. So you go one stop to the train station and you buy your ticket for Rome here. Everybody goes to tourist information, but you can buy tickets in the station. And you get off at San Pietro station. From Roma San Pietro station, it's an easy walk to St. Peter's Square. Just follow the blue line. And after a 10 minute walk, this is your view. St. Peter's Square, in front of the Vatican, is a masterpiece designed by Bernini. Most people have seen it on television, but it's worth the trip to experience its atmosphere, which is unique. There's a sense of awe here, and whichever religion you follow, even if you don't believe in God, the atmosphere is tangible. Imagine how crowded it becomes when the Pope gives his address. This is the queue for St Peter's Basilica, so plan your visit. It's a long wait. There is a way you can avoid the queue if you don't mind paying. Thank you. If you queue, entrance to the Basilica is free. As you look at the Vatican, on the right-hand side, you go through an arch into a shop to get your no-queue ticket. Somebody will take you at your allocated time into the Vatican. Vatican. Probably the best view of St Peter's amazing Basilica. The new Pope addresses his people from the middle window on the balcony. This Pope chooses not to live in these grand apartments, but in a much more humble home. The colonnade is Benigni's masterpiece and there are four rows of pillars and there is a place you can stand between the obelisks where if you look at the pillars, it looks like there's just one row of pillars all the way around. Peter's Basilica looks amazing lit up at night. The Swiss guard that guard the Pope are indeed from Switzerland. Inside the old wall, there's a small tunnel that goes all the way from the Vatican to the castle in case of attack. Vatican City is the smallest principality in Europe. We're actually staying in Vatican City behind the Vatican. It's easy to see why Rome is considered one of the most romantic cities in the world. Everywhere you look is a feast for the eyes. At the other side of St Angelo Bridge is a museum, Castel Sant'Angelo. This is my favourite bridge, opposite the Castel Sant'Angelo. The statues on this bridge are absolutely amazing. Register with us here at Doris Visits and we will try to do our bit as travel video bloggers where you can look before you book and see the cruise before you cruise the sea. Facebook, Twitter and online. Just search Doris Visits, then follow and share.